24 years ago, 15-year-old Cecilia Rios was walking home in San Pablo. She decided to take a shortcut that day, taking her through Downer Elementary School. There, she was raped and stabbed to death. An 18-year-old man was convicted of her killing and was sentenced to life in prison. The murder shook the community to its core, including Jay Lopez, who was just eight years old at the time, and he wanted Cecilia's memory to live on so he made a movie about her short life called Love, Ceci. Joining us now is Jay Lopez and Angie Marie Espinosa, who plays Ceci in the movie. Thank you both for coming in. I Thank you so much it. for having us. Thank uh, you. you were so young when, the, when this happened in 94. Yes. Um, a lot of times when the killer is convicted and sent off to prison, the story disappears. Yes. You wanted to bring it back. Yes. Why, Jay? I felt that was very important that her legacy can continue to this day. Um, her story never left Richmond. And I felt like it was a huge purpose to have her story told to the whole entire world. And the fact that not a lot of people know Richmond mm -hmm. and our city and our community, because in our community there's so many gangs and murders, but um, this one was special. This one was very to the heart. And I can imagine, especially for you, uh, Angie, to, to play a, a young lady who, who was killed in such a brutal way, you, you must have felt as though you wanted to do her and her story justice. How did you do that? Exactly. I just stayed true to the role. I used a lot of my personal experience and used a lot of uh, violence that young women face throughout our world. And not only is it Ceci's story, but it's a lot of young women's stories throughout this entire world that go unnamed, that go never heard of or just unknown and we never get to give them justice and not only did her uh, assailant uh, was incarcerated but this was another form of justice for her to get her story out there to know that there can be healing through art and through retelling her story her mom father are they are still alive are they still in richmond mm -hmm. no uh they're still alive i saw them last night so uh, like, okay. Yes, we hung out for a little bit. So um, did you knock on their door and, and approach them with this a, a topic, and, and what was the reaction? Well, I did about a year and a half research on my own before I decided to reach out to the parents. And when I finally did, um, I was, it was nerve-wracking. It was definitely scary. Um, they were hesitant at first, but I promised them that, that this is going to be a beautiful legacy for their daughter to continue on forever. And they agreed, and after that, the ball continue to grow in and then so about a seven year process okay and together. what's the heart of the I mean do you focus on that particular tragic day do you focus on her il earlier years in life well I focus on the, the last five months the last of, five of months her, of her life um, she had her quinceanera on October 28 1993 okay. and she was murdered five months later okay so I focus on those last five months Angie what do you hope other young women take away from and, and young men take away from this film you've helped make well definitely for young men that they there is another form to reaching young women that you don't need to use violence that we need to learn about toxic masculinity and how to uh, learn about consent and learn about respecting women and respecting boundaries these are such heavy topics especially for a 15 year old mm -hmm. but yes. you feel that those young girls do need to be told um, young men and girls um, but I believe it starts in the home parents educating about consent and about safe sex and about safety and how to protect oneself and how to fight. And Jay, you have a screening tonight or this weekend? Yes, we have a screening tonight and tomorrow night, but unfortunately we're so out. It's not a bad problem to have. It isn't, it really isn't, but I'm very fortunate and very blessed that we are sold out. I'm just so excited and so humbled that it's like it's Cecilia's homecoming, you know, it's just, and it's amazing just to see everyone there. Her family's going to be there and her friends and I'm just so, so excited. Yeah, hopefully right. a distributor has his eyes yeah. on your film, his or her eyes on your film. That's and a goal. That's a goal. Nationwide. That's a Good goal. work. Right. Thank Good you. work. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us.